good morning class 12 today we are starting with your ch next chapter that is deep water i'm going to discuss this chapter with you in detail uh, and uh, this uh, this uh, chapter is written by william douglas it is an excerpt from of men and mountains by william o douglas he has written this book and it is and some part extract taken from that book uh we all are familiar with different kinds of fear some people fear about uh, the, their darkness some people have a fear of height so different kind of phobias are there that man is afraid of here we will be coming across that how this author was fearful or uh, fearful uh, feeling very uh, awkward when he is in water and why this fear arouses his experience and how he overcame that fear the whole experience of his is explained in this chapter now uh, i just wanted to discuss something about the author also with you he was born in maine and minnesota and when he become graduate he was bachelor of art in english and economics he first uh, he was teaching in school in yakima and after that when he um, got tired of this thing and then he pursued the legal career and then he met franklin d roosevelt at yale and then he become the uh, the advisor to the president we know that franklin d roosevelt was a president so he was advisor to him and then he um, uh, he was continued with that career and th that career last for 36 years and he was also the longest serving justice in history of court and this um, man he when he wrote this book of men and mountains and this chapter is part of this book which you are studying this is part of this book and where he is describing that when a young boy when he was a young boy how he was uh, he is describing his own experience where he was nearly drowned in a pool and then uh, how he overcome that fear uh, it is a kind of autobiographical part of his life where he is describing his own experience so similarly we'll be explain i'm explaining you paragraph wise uh, words would be underlined Uh, you are going to write down the word meanings later in your notebook uh, let's start with your chapter um, underline words keep it keep on marking those words let's start with it it had happened when i was 10 or 11 years old i had decided to learn to swim there was a pool at the wmca in yakima that offered exactly the opportunity the yakima river was treacherous mother continuously warned against it and kept fresh in my mind the details of each drowning in the river but the wmca pools was safe it was only 2 or 3 feet deep at the shallow end and while it was 9 feet deep at the other the drop was gradual i got pair of water wings and went to the pool now author here is describing that uh, when he was 10 or 11 years of age he wanted to learn swimming so he went to this uh, wmca pools in yamaika it is a kind of swimming pool where he wanted to learn this he know that uh, yakima river is also there uh, in um, that place but yakima river was very dangerous treacherous means very dangerous and very deceptive here because you cannot um, imagine uh, where the deep water very deep water is there and obviously rivers are very dangerous and deep so and his mother was also keep uh, many times reminding him how people drown there so he did went there in that river to learn swimming but he was he is gone to proper pools which are known as wmca pools which were uh, swimming pools where the swimming pools you know they are built in such a way that at one end of the pool there uh, the water is not very deep it is shallow 
वेयर एज ऑन द अदर साइड इट इज डीप वेन एंड द स्लांट इज देयर इन साइड द पूल सो दैट द यंग द लर्नर्स हु आर न्यू टू लर्निंग दे कीप ऑन स्विमिंग द लर्न स्विमिंग ऑन द शेलो एंड एंड देन वेन दे बिकम परफेक्ट स्विमर्स दे गो टू द डीपर एंड इट वॉज नाइन फीट डीप एट द डीपर साइड सो दिस वॉज अ डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ पूल गिवन हेयर एंड वेन ही वेन देर टू स्विम ही यूज वॉटर विंग्स विद हिम वॉटर विंग्स आर द काइंड ऑफ विंग्स काइंड ऑफ डिवाइस विच अ पर्सन यूज टू वेयर अ काइंड ऑफ स्विमिंग जैकेट्स विद विच अ पर्सन कैन नॉट ड्राउन सो दे यूज टू वेयर इट इन द आर्म्स इवन ऑन द बॉडी दे यूज टू वेयर सो दैट पर्सन शुड नॉट ड्राउन सो ही वेयर दैट सो I hated to walk naked into it and show my skinny legs but I subdued my pride and did it so he don't want to go because uh, he was very lean and thin and he don't want to show his very skinny leg very lean thin legs so he um, he was having of that fear of showing his body because of his weakness but i subdued my pride and did it i subdued my pride means he tried to control that pride and then he did it he went inside the pool naked from the beginning however i had an aversion to the water when i was in it that this started when i was 3 or 4 years old and father took me to the beach in california he and i stood together in the surf i hung on to him yet the waves knocked me down and swept me swept over me i was buried in water my breath was gone i was frightened father laughed but there was terror in my heart at the overpowering force of the waves now this being a child william had a fear which fear he had that he was since beginning that uh, aversion was there that means he disliked water because once his father took him to the california and there waves were there and they were doing surfing surf surf in reference to the wavy water so uh, they were in that one uh, very um, foamy kind of water is known as surf so they were there and he was with his father and when the waves come you know the power of waves is so much in the ocean when it comes it swept him down he was under the water for some time and he was not able to breathe so he got frightened being a child and his father was laughing at him because the child is not able to resist the waves so this terror was still there in his heart because that experience made him feel fearful my introduction to the wmca swimming pool revived unpleasant memories and stirred childish fear when he went to that pool again that memory of that waves in the sea water he it came into his mind and still it was there in his brain as a childish fear but in the little while i gathered confidence i paddled with my new water wings watched the other boys and trying to learn by aping them I did this two or three times on different days and was just beginning to feel at ease in the water when the misadventure happened. Now this uh, child tried to overcome his fear. Uh, see how afraid he was of water but still he was trying to learn. He was trying to learn swimming at the pool he gathered all his confidence and then watched with his paddle with his new water wings he tried to just move give the movements in the water for the swimming and he was even watching the other boys who were swimming and taking lessons he was aping them aping man means he was trying to copy them he was uh, just uh, trying to follow them i did this two or three times on different days and was just beginning to feel at ease in water when the misadventure happened now after 2 3 days he was learning that and he was started feeling little bit comfortable now but then a misadventure happened misadventure refers to accident what accident occur is he is going to explain i went to the pool when no one else was there the place was quiet the water was still and the tiled bottom was at 
I was as white and clean as a bathtub. I was timid about going in alone, so I sat on the side of the pool to wait for others. So when he one day he went to the pool, nobody was there, and water was very clear because very clean. The pools, water, swimming pool waters are very made clean by putting chlorine and all these things into it. So it was looking a very clean and clear water, and tiles could also be seen under the water. So that shows that, uh, but he was very afraid. He was very timid. Timid refers to he was feeling very afraid um, because uh, going alone to the pool because he still he was not that much trained. So he was waiting for others. I had not been there long when in in came a big bruiser of a boy, probably eighteen years old. He had thick hair on his chest. He was a beautiful physical specimen with legs and arms that showed rippling muscles. He yelled, "Hi, skinny! How you'd like to be ducked?" Now, when he was all alone there, that time a big bruiser of a boy, bruiser here refers to a bully boy who used to overpower others. Very strong built boy came there. He might be of eighteen years of age because thick hair were there on his chest. and he was having a very good physical body specimen here refers to a model how example physical fit boy he was and with legs and arms were showing rippling muscles rippling means waving muscle that shows that the boy must be going going doing some workouts to make his muscles so that strong boy he came in and he just shouted at that boy saying hi skinny Uh, he's just trying to show that he was very lean and thing and how you like to be ducked he uh, wanted him to he questioned him that he wanted to be dived with that he picked me up and tossed me into the deep end so he immediately picked him up from the side of the pool and just put him into the deeper end of the pool the child does not know actually proper swimming and he was on the deeper side which was 9 uh, 9 feet um, deep I landed in a sitting position, swallowed water, and went at once to the bottom. So, the child who didn't know how to uh, do swimming properly, he water went inside his mouth, and then he immediately went to the bottom of the pool. He, I was frightened, but not yet. But not yet frightened out of my wits. now what does this mean he was frightened he was afraid of all this but he was not that much uh, that uh, he was not that much frightened out of my wits that means he was not that much scary that he which can cause uh, loss of his mind that means that means he was aware his brain was still working uh, on the way down i planned so when he was going down un- under the pool at that time his planning was going on okay that when my feet hit the bottom i would like i would make a big jump come to the surface lie flat on it and paddle to the edge of the pool so what he was thinking that one what i am going to do i am when the, the moment i am going to hit the pool down there i am immediately going to jump with my feet and come up there uh, at the surface and then he is going to paddle with his uh, wings and then on the side of the pool so that shows that his brain was working frightening out of my wit but not yet frightened out of my wits wits means that he was not that much frightened that uh, would cause uh, to lose his mind he was not losing his mind he was that much aware at that time so this shows the awareness of the boy even in a very difficult situation let's move on to the next part it seems a long way down those 9 feet were more like 90 now he was when you are in difficult situation definitely that sounds very hard so that 9 feet was looking as if he was 90 feet down there and before i touched the bottom my lungs were ready to burst so he is exp- telling his experience that he was feeling as if his lungs are going to bu- come bursting out but when my feet hit the bottom i summoned all my strength and made what i thought was a great spring upwards so he used his all force and he touched the bottom and jumped with it and came try to come up on the level of water 
I imagine I would bob to the surface like a cock. Instead, I came up slowly. Now, what he was thinking that when I'm going to jump in a, in the air, it, see the situations are different. When you jump inside the water, the condition would be different because you are in a different medium. When you jump in the air, the condition are different because you are jumping in air. It is a different medium. So he was thinking just as we jump in the air, what happened? We spring up. We put, uh, uh, pull all the force and we jump up there. So he was thinking like that. And he thought that when he is going to jump, he just, just as the cock is very light and he comes on the surface of the water. Similarly, he is also going to come up the surface of the water. But it did not happen. He was, he jumped, he used his force. But at the surface, he was coming very slowly. I opened my eyes and saw nothing. At that moment, he just opened his eyes in the water and he was not able to see anything around. The uh, author saw nothing but water. Water that has dirty yellow tinge to it. He saw that the water is little bit yellow in that color. I grew panicky. I reached up as if to grab a rope and my hands clutched only at water. I was suffocating. I tried to yell but no sound came out. Then my eyes and nose came out of the water, but not my mouth. Now, what at this moment he try, he tried to when he reached up on the surface, he with his hand because obviously a drowning man tried to raise his hand and try to grab something. So he thought that something rope or something should come into his hand, but nothing was there in the pool. It is only water, so only he would be clutching onto the water. And at that time, I was suffocating. He was suffocating means he was not able to breathe properly. I tried to yell, but no sound came out. He tried to shout also because under the water, no sound came. So uh, that help happened there. So he tried to sh shout when my eyes and at that moment, his eyes and nose came out of the water, but his mouth was still under the water. I frail at the surface of the water swallowed and choked frail air means he was simply moving without control on the surface of water he was not having any control over it swallowed and choked he was swallowed with water everywhere and he was choking he was not able to breathe he was dying i tried to bring my legs up but they hung as dead weights he tried to he also wanted to come up with his rest of the body up but he was feeling little always almost paralyzed and rigid he was not able to move a great force was pulling me under again his body weight you know the gravity pulls like that the force was pulling him down i screamed but only the water heard me he was trying to shout but nobody was there already you know we know that but nobody was hearing him I had started on the long journey back to the bottom of the pool. See how the author has described it was a long journey. Because for him coming up was really difficult. That's why he described that 9 feet drowning under the water was a long journey for him. He again started moving down. I stuck at the water as I went down, expending my strength as one in the nightmare fights an irresistible force. A very beautiful comparison author has made. He was saying that I stuck at the water. He was stuck in the, or the water because in the pool water is there. And he was again going down in the pool. He is expending his strength. He is trying to use his strength. You know, when we are in dreams, when uh, horrifying dreams we are, some, uh, all of you might have experienced that, that when we are in a very uh, bad dream, we imagine ourselves in a very difficult situation. We are shouting. We are um, using our all force and then we feel that we are helpless at that moment. Our body is not moving or something like that. I'm sure everybody has gone through such experience in the dream. So the author was feeling the same kind of thing at that moment. He was feeling that he was in a nightmare. Nightmare refers to very frightful dreams, very fearful dreams. And he was fighting with an 
irresistible force irresistible force is a force which cannot be faced he is he was feeling the same way when he was under the water i had lost my breath he was not able to breathe my lungs ached my head throbbed i was getting dizzy so he was obviously the air was not fulfilled in his lungs so his lungs were also aching there was a throbbing in his head also a kind of beating is done in his brain i was getting dizzy he was also feeling very uh, almost uh, he was feeling as if he is losing his mind is losing his soul unconsciousness he was feeling but i remembered the strategy i would spring from the bottom of the pool and come like a cock to the surface see although he was in a very difficult situation he had not lost his mind he was thinking that when he is going to touch the surface again he is going to jump the way he has jumped earlier i would lie at the uh, lie flat on the water striking out with my arms and thrash with my legs then i would get to the edge of the pool and be safe again he was thinking that if i am going to strike out with my arms again he is going to use the force of his legs pushing him up then he will definitely be on the other edge of the pool and be safe so his brain is still working because he is trying to save himself and he has not lost his mind so that also teaches uh, everyone a lesson also that one should not lose hope even in the very difficult situation and keep our brain calm and try to think of things which would bring us out of that difficult situation so i went down endlessly i opened my eyes nothing but water with a yellow glow dark water that one could not see through when he went down again there he opened his eyes and there was nothing but only water with a yellow color earlier also you mentioned that and dark water that one could not see through he was not able to see anything in the water and then sheer stark terror seized me terror that knows no understanding terror that knows no control terror that no one can understand who has not experienced it now the author was under the sheer stark terror sheer stark uh, st- uh, stark terror seized me here means he was completely and the only complete fear was capturing him from all side terror that no understand no understanding he was seized by such a fear where understanding fails he was not able to understand anything and this kind of terror when you are in such a fearful situation your brain cannot help you anyways and so he has no control uh, on the terror that no one can understand who has not experienced it so he is trying to say that <coughs> that if someone ha- is uh, the person who has not gone through such a dangerous experience that person cannot feel uh, this kind of fear so he is experienced himself he has gone through that fear so he only understood that he can understood that fear is this moment he can only explain that fear and the person who has not gone through that kind of fear that person is not able to understand that situation or the, his fear even the screams in my throat were frozen so he said that i was trying to scream he wanted to shout loudly but it was frozen only my heart and pounding in my head said that i was still alive so there was a pumping of heart heartbeat was there and throbbing in his head so that was telling him that he was alive so we have a live experience through this uh, chapter we can understand how lively the author is describing a experience of a person who is literally drowned next he says and then in the midst of the terror came a torch of reason i must remember to jump when i hit the bottom see he again immediately come that point in his brain he was in the terror but that immediate light up came in his mind that he had to jump when he hit the bottom at last i feel felt the tiles under me 
my toes reach out as if to grab them i jumped with everything i had so whatever energy whatever energy he has left in his body with that all energy he jumped try to jump again and when he touches the tile at the pool uh, pool end but the jump made no difference but there was no difference that he tried to jump but he was not coming out of the water the water was still around me i looked for ropes ladders water wings nothing but water he was trying to find something which was there around him anything rope ladder but nothing was there only water was there he was not able to find any uh, prop with which he can come out a mass of yellow water held me stark terror took an even deeper hold on me like a great charge of electricity i shook and trembled with fright so there was deep terror stark terror it was around him and he was in that fearful situation and then like a great charge of electricity was on someone he was in the same condition i shook and trembled with fright he was trembling he was shaking himself with that fright my arms wouldn't move now his arms also stopped working my legs wouldn't move i tried to call for help to call for my mother nothing happened he was trying to shout even he was trying to move his body his body is not moving he was trying to call for help that help could not he could not reach that help so he was in a very bad condition and then strangely there was light i was called out of awful water yellow water at least my eyes were my nose was almost out too and then she he was trying to jump he was seeing only water everywhere he thought that the water is everywhere but he don't know how strangely he come there was a light around him that means he was out of water he was coming out in from that yellow water his at least eyes were out because he could see some light his nose was almost out then i startled down a third time see he came second time up on the water so he is trying again and again his brain had not stopped working he was trying to jump down from the pool to the upper surface then i started down a third time again he was going now i struck sucked for air and got water he tried to get, gain air from on the surface of water but as his nose was almost near the water he only suck water inside the yellowish light was going out and that yellowish light which was out of the water it was going out again he was going again under the water then all effort ceased i relaxed even my legs felt limp and blackness swept over my brain now at this moment when he was going third time down he was his all the efforts have stopped he relaxed his legs felt limp he was not able to move his legs every there there is blackness his brain could not think it wiped out fear it wiped out terror no terror was there in his brain no fear was there at this time he was blank there was no more panic he was not trying even to save himself and when you are in panic situation you try to search for help he was not doing that it was quiet and peaceful nothing to be afraid of this is nice to be drowsy to go to sleep no need to jump too tired to jump it's nice to be carried gently to float along in space tender arms around me tender arms like mothers now i must go to sleep so he is describing his experience when he was third time going under the water he was feeling that uh, that time that um there he was not panicking nothing he was not afraid of anything and he was feeling as if he was going for a deep sleep he was almost floating in space and his arms of his mother were around him so he was feeling that kind of coziness and no panic was there very gentle feeling he was feeling at last when he was going under water so i crossed to oblivion and the 
curtain of life fell across to oblivion he was thinking that he was exactly in the front of death he has faced death and he is going to die now and the curtain of life fell means he is going to die now the next i remember i was lying on my stomach beside the pool vomiting after that what he remember this is the experience of his drowning after that when he regained that memory he was again out of his consciousness what he remember he was on the side of the pool lying on his stomach and vomiting people might be pushing the water out of his body the chap that threw me was saying but i was only fooling someone said the kid nearly died be all right now let's carry him to the locker room and at this moment somebody has saved him and uh, they were talking that this boy who uh, threw him into the pool he, uh, his life could be in danger they were talking about all these things so he remembered that thing several hours later i walked home i was weak and trembling i shook and cried when i lay on my bed i couldn't eat that night for days of days a haunting fear was in my heart the slightest exertion upset me making my me wobbly in the knees and sick to my stomach so he was he faced such a fearful experience under the water that even after hours of this experience when he walked home he was very weak and trembling and he even shook himself and cried when he was on the bed literally that fear was there and he couldn't eat that night and many days this haunting fear was making him fearful that was there in his brain and a uh, little bit of exertion is going to upset him if he had to make a lot of efforts he feel very bad making me wobble in my knees he was done so much effort in the pool as he was very lean and thin and weak boy so that weakness was there in his knees and sick to my stomach his stomach was also not feeling good with this experience i never went back to pool i feared water i avoided it whenever i could so that fear become very much permanent in his brain that he when he was drown drowning in the pool and almost met that he felt that experience so that made him feel very bad so uh, he was not able to think of going to that swimming lessons once again so i'm ending this uh, part of chapter here next part of the chapter we are going to continue in the second part of this deep water uh, thank you class thank you very much